Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles, and it is just me today for this video because I wanted to get this in really, really quick. But we've been talking about the, the SAG after strikes and, and some of the, the absolute stupidity that's been going on. Well, SAG after figured they might as well add insult to injury and turned around and put out union rules for members to abide by when dressing for Halloween. That's right. SAG after can't get this deal closed for actors to get back to work so everybody else can get back to work because they want that extra, that extra levy. But they have time to put out a post about what to dress for as Halloween and what not to dress for with Halloween. And people are not very amused. So before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, you'll get a woohoo, woohoo. And we're going to talk about this. So I saw this on The Hollywood Reporter. And basically, under newly announced Halloween costume rules from SAG-AFTRA, you're not allowed to dress as characters from Struck Studios, which eliminates a lot, okay? People are like, it's gonna eliminate Barbie and Ken and Wednesday, it's gonna eliminate, you know, like, uh, Mario Brothers, it's gonna eliminate Star Wars, Marvel, all that stuff. It's gonna eliminate a lot of things. So they put this uh, image, let me see, I have it over here. They put this uh, statement out, okay? Here's what it here's what it looks like. SAG after on strike Halloween 2023. Make Halloween a scream with these SAG after strike friendly tips and tricks. If you're looking for guidance on how to celebrate Halloween this year while also staying in solidarity with the tab theatrical streaming strike, you've come to the right place. Choose costumes inspired by generalized characters and figures, ghost, zombie, spider, etc. Do not post photos of costumes inspired by struck content on social media. Dress up as characters from non-struck content, like an animated TV show. Except a lot of those animated TV shows would also be struck content. Um, my favorite part is the eyeballs. Uh, to let you know they're watching you. You know, that might be not the intention, but that's how I'm taking it. You're this ridiculous. And then you put eyeballs on it too. So for Halloween, celebrities cannot dress how they want. Um, because the union put out guidelines telling them they can't dress as characters from, uh, anything struck or struck studios. And people are kind of like, this is ridiculous. Um, you cannot get this deal closed, but you had time to put this out. You know, you, you, you fought over a levy and, and got the deal, the, got the amp tip to walk out. But you, instead of doing something for that, you're out here putting out this. And this isn't the first time. This is like when the convention season came up and they were telling cosplayers what they couldn't, couldn't wear. And the thing is, they'll be like, they'll be like telling people that you can't support this stuff. And then they'll make threats against you. And they're telling the actors that even for Halloween, just for fun in your family, you cannot dress as these characters. Well, it didn't go the way they thought. Um, so Ryan Reynolds <laughs> put up on Twitter I look forward to screaming scab at my eight-year-old all night. She's not in the union, but she needs to learn. And it's funny because the union, the SAG after union was telling people who weren't in the union how they should and shouldn't behave, telling influencers what they should and shouldn't do with the threat that maybe someday, maybe you will, you want to join the union and you won't be allowed to. So they're telling people that are in the union how to be, even how to dress for Halloween. They're telling people who are not union how to be and how to, what to cover, what you can't cover, what you can accept, what you can't accept, even though you're not even union because someday you might want to be. This is how bat shit these people are. And it's funny because when you look it up on um, Twitter, people are bringing up some comments, like some ideas for SAG members for Halloween, uh, dungarees, t-shirt and hat, uh, juice demon. Kill lady, <laughs> wizard boy, oh, sorry, wizard boy. Um, other people are like, it's a tough time for actors. Why are you taking away the one of the few bright moments they'll have? The whole point of Halloween is to dress up as your favorite character and express yourself. So this is very confusing. I'm a sad, I'm a SAG actor and this is foolish mandate. The strike has been tough on many SAG members. Partying at Halloween dresses characters their fellow SAG actors brought to life. While they blow off some steam should be encouraged. Hopefully SAG reverses this decision. Actors can't dress as IP as Barbie. Is it safe space to say that Halloween dress up role SAG after is kind of ridiculous? No, shit. You know what else is ridiculous? Telling 
actors, they can go to conventions, but never talk about projects that happened, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago. That's ridiculous. Telling cosplayers, if you're part of the union or even if you're not, that you better abide by the rules and not dress as characters from Struck Studios because then we'd be mad and you might not get to join the union or you could be punished by the union. Things like that. Telling influencers who aren't even in the union that they can't do things because, you know, they're watching you. I'm like, this is like the most controlling load of bullshit I've ever seen. Um, it's not so fun now, is it? So SAG isn't allowing actors to dress as Wednesday or Barbie for Halloween. Now they're losing it. Now? Now you think they're losing it. Okay. SAG leadership is becoming more unserious by the day. How are they going to dictate what actors choose to wear for Halloween? Well, they even put the eyeballs on here. Look, we're watching you. Always watching. Always watching. I just think this is ridiculously stupid and it's going to bite them in the ass. Watch the Halloween mandate be the thing that gets them to agree to sign and just get it over with because people are going to rip them a new asshole over the stu stupid, absolutely stupid mandate. Um, SAG suggests actors not dress as scabs this Halloween with strike-friendly tips and tricks. Can't be a scab, guys. Um, with each passing day, the ass from SAG are beginning to look more and more like a cult activity. No Halloween costumes or you're a scab. Fuck off. You just now you're starting to figure this out. I just, it's just funny to me. This is, this is the line too far. This. Um, how will SAG police this? I don't know, but... We're watching you. Um, I can't even. Uh, now, me, me watching SAG say no Halloween costumes of struck work with my bright red hair died 48 hours ago for almost this exact purpose. What did you, I mean, given the cosplay ridiculousness, I'm not surprised by this. I think they're, they're going way too far. This is absolutely stupid. I don't, I don't even have words for how absolutely stupid this is go now I'm going to do my second Halloween costume after all what with the new SAG guidelines seems hard to follow for sure considering so much struck work is based on stuff that isn't but I wouldn't want to break any rules my main one I've been putting together is unaffected though break the rules these people are they, 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 they demand the moon and they're going to demand a levy but they're not telling you what they're going to use it for you, this is bullshit. This is like over top. Well, I mean, I guess if there's no pictures of it, they can't do anything. But they're like, well, you know, if we see pictures, mm, guys, you know, oh my God, if we see it, don't post photos on your social media. Let us use our collective power to send a loud and clear message to our struck employers. They will not pr promote their contact without a fair contract. Well, you had a fair contract. You had a more than fair contract, but you got greedy at the last minute. And now a lot of people need to go back to work, aren't getting to go back to work, but you had time for this shit. You literally had time for this. I can't even, honestly, this might do you in. This stupidity here is what I think people are saying has gone too far. Good job. Oh, and I forgot to remind you at the beginning of the video, hey, Shadowbinders Volume 3 is out for pre-order. Um, it is the third volume of our books. This one actually is going to be new content included in it. Uh, first new, co new content in a while. Um, books one and two are also available if you miss those, but there's not that many of them. Um, so you can go ahead and check that out if you go to shopclownfish.com. And I will talk to you later. Bye.